Welcome to Carazozo Music. Carazozo Music is a nonprofit organization celebrating its 14th year and it is dependent on grants, foundations, and your generous donations. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have moved all of our music to a virtual platform for you to enjoy any day and any time from the comfort of your own safe place. Part of the mission of Carazozo Music is to provide school outreach programs, including concerts, workshops, lectures, and demonstrations for the children of New Mexico, many of whom live in impoverished communities and never have the opportunity to experience this type of culture. Performances are funded in part by the New Mexico Humanities Council, New Mexico Arts, National Endowment for the Arts, Western Arts Foundation, Otero County Electric Cooperative Operation Roundup, Tularosa Basin Telephone Company, Zia Gas, and listener donations. Throughout the performance and afterwards, we will answer your questions via our email, carizozomusic at gmail.com. All emails will be answered within 48 hours. Please visit our website to watch and listen to the many great performances we have in our performance library at carizozomusic.org. Remember, donations from you, the viewer, are important to the success of this organization. Thank you. My name is Ann I. Speller. My program is, is a type of survey of harp music. I'm going to start with the Pasakai, Pasakalia by George Frederick Handel. He was born in 1685 and uh, spent most of his creative life in England. This is from his seventh harpsichord suite. It is a set of variations on a chord progression. This transcription for harp was done by the French Belgian harpist Tiny Bayon.
my favorite musical eras is the Baroque, uh, the 17th and first half of the 18th centuries. And two of the most famous Baroque composers are Bach and Handel. I played Handel. Now I'm going to play two pieces by Johann Sebastian Bach. He wrote a set of sonatas and partitas for unaccompanied violin. Bach, unfortunately, did not write for harp. But in the 20th century, the French harpist Marcel Grandini made a number of transcriptions of Bach's violin music. I first have an andante from uh, the second violin sonata, and the second piece is an allemande from the second partita for unaccompanied violin.
Debussy. He was born in 1861, and he wrote this piece when he was in his 20s. He wrote a set of two arabesques for piano. This is the first. Um, an arabesque has two meanings. One is from the word Arab, as in a detail of, of Arabic architecture that would be very florid, and the other is the dance position.
The next piece is The Minstrel's Due to His Native Land by John Thomas. John Thomas was a harpist and composer who was active in the second half of the 19th century and first quarter of the 20th century. He was Queen Victoria's personal harpist. This piece is based on a poem by Thomas Moore, considered Ireland's National Guard. Um, the poem speaks of when the harpist has died, hang his harp on the wall of the castle and maybe someone will come by and play it again. This is my second set of variations. Um, John Thomas was quite a virtuoso harpist and he wrote a lot of music for his own instrument.
I've always felt that every harp concert should include Bach and it should include Celtic music, especially for this concert that is being released for St. Patrick's Day. I thought it was imperative to play some music by Trilla O'Carolyn. He was the, considered the last of the Irish bards. He was born in 1670 and lived until 1738. At the age of 18, he was blinded by smallpox, and that's when he began studying harp. So he traveled throughout Ireland, playing for patrons with his harp and a guide to guide his horse. He wrote a lot of music in traditional style and often dedicated the pieces to various patrons. He also wrote in a more classical style and I have examples of both. I have two pieces that he wrote really in the traditional Celtic style. The first is Lady Athenry, and the second is Carolyn's Dream.
one of Carolyn's more classical pieces. It's just called Concerto. My third and final set of variations is a piece by Deborah Hansen Conant. She's a contemporary composer, an American. Um, she is what is described as a multi-genre artist. She is a harpist, a singer, a composer. She works in classical jazz Celtic styles. Um, this piece is called Baroque Flamenco. It is based on a minuet by the philosopher and composer Jean-Jacques Rousseau, who lived in the 18th century. And Deborah has put a very 21st century twist on his minuet.
Before I play my last piece, thank you for joining me on this harp journey. Uh, I hope you have a really wonderful St. Patrick's Day. And I'm going to thank also uh, Elaine Brannan for inviting me to do this concert, and Robin Root of Volti Subito in Albuquerque for the production. This is a very old piece of music. It is Brian Baru's March. It was written in his honor. Brian Baru was a king of Ireland at the beginning of the 11th century. He unified all of the Irish tribes, and at least for a while, they drove out the Vikings. As was traditional for an Irish nobleman, he was a harper. It was part of being literate. This music was written in his honor. <laughs> 